Dad, someone asked about Stokes' theorem and something called the curl of a vector field. What's that even mean? All right, Steve. Imagine a tiny paddle wheel placed in a flowing vector field. If that paddle wheel starts spinning, you're witnessing curl in action. Curl measures how much rotation a field induces locally. So it's like detecting microscopic whirlpools in a field. Exactly. Now, Stokes' theorem connects that tiny spinning to the big picture. It says the total circulation around a closed loop, like walking the edge of a surface, equals the sum of all curl inside that surface. Wait, so going around the edge is the same as adding up the curls inside? Bingo. In math terms, it's represented by the following equation. Left side, that's your line integral, the work done moving around the boundary. Right side, that's your surface integral, adding up the rotation, curl, over the surface. So it's like comparing the twist around the edge versus the spin inside? Exactly. Stokes' theorem is a bridge. It connects the circulation on the boundary with the microscopic rotation happening throughout the surface. That's kind of beautiful in a terrifying math-heavy way. Get used to it. Nature loves symmetry. And this one shows up in fluid flow, electromagnetism, and even general relativity.